can't believe this is happening. All right, I'm here. You're stealing Sir's personnel dossiers. The organization is strictly compartmentalized, so they aren't stored in one central location. Spying on spies? I approve. Tell me more. Sir's uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Bloody hell. You can be horrified if you want, but it's saved thousands of lives. Get access to a filament terminal and I'll provide you with the search terms.
Anything could happen here. Job done. Find them. Drone, perform a search. There. Take stop. a breath. Where the hell are they? This could be dangerous. So this is filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail. Unless, of course, Malik has an idea. There. I persuaded Filament's security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. Are all spies this eager to please? It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils like DedSec to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are... Differing schools of thought. Stored in the dossiers, and now I'm going to leave. If no one has any objections, well done, love.
safe for now. Dossiers. Right, so we do a simple CTOS contact analysis and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. I'll have it done before you can say Guantanamo. I'll handle the classified data, thank you very much. It would be so much faster if I worked with you in order to do this. The people in these dossiers are connected, but not necessarily complicit. It will take intelligence expertise to separate the wheat from the chaff. And when I discover something actionable, I will contact you. He's disconnected. Pleasant fellow. Your house, it can predict when you're going to go and get a self driving car ready for you before you even ask for it. That's pretty terrifying. In some ways, I don't want this dangerous. I have Malik for you. Put him through. We have to meet. There's been a complication. I can't access the files you stole. Sorry, what? The files are locked, and a moment after we got them, I received this. Up version of Bagley, given it's already so intelligent. Hello, Richard. I wonder what I get back to We see you're trying to find us by looking into our associates. That's a good idea. Hope you don't mind if we borrow it. Who was your last savior? We wonder. I've sent Bagley the coordinates for a meeting. I hope I don't need to explain why this is a priority. <laughs> I found a potential recruit for you. Drop in a pin on your map. The black market means that criminal gangs like Clan Kelly run the cities. And Prime Minister Deb Pisani isn't even around to pretend to care. How do we go from consumer paradise to a place of empty shelves and fighting for supplies? What turns the land of Pennsylvania into a wild west of hoarding, food battles and black... Britain sealed itself off. Like the first stuff that got stopped from coming in was fresh food. No, don't get up. I need a high-ranking SIRS officer's biometrics, eyes and fingers. Absolutely not. We don't have time for this nonsense. Keep your voice down. The data was encrypted. That's all? Uh, AI can crack it. Not faster than I could, and I've tried. It's hopeless in the time we have. Look, 
If you don't help me, Zero Day wins. Which means we all die. Fuck my life. So, hack off the poor sod's finger? No. High-res photos will do. The problem is it has to be the acting Home Office liaison. And sirs will burn their credentials if they're attacked. It's protocol. So you'll have to get them the old-fashioned way. Torture? Christ, no. Develop a relationship. Get someone close and uh, take the photos covertly. Sounds a bit fun. This part of the craft can be... ugly. Send someone who can handle it. Help me out here, Bagley. I suggest you begin your relationship with the SIRS Home Office liaison the way you would with anyone, by meticulously poring over every detail of their life and hunting them down. Go on. The SIRS Home Office Liaison is the bridge between the government and its intelligence service. Their office at Downing Street would be a good place to start your relationship. Then that's our move. I think what we've come to now is a realisation that capitalism has essentially failed. I mean, the one key promise of capitalism that it makes to its citizens is that there will be surplus, that we will have plenty, that that's the whole logic for, for running society in this way, that people will have enough. And now, uh, with this kind of huge shortages of everything, you're, you're seeing that system collapse. It hasn't delivered on its primary promise. And I think we've really reached a situation where we have to do away with capitalism entirely. Where there's, there's shortages for, for the many, but for, for a few individuals. The SIRS Home Office liaison works here, but I'm not seeing them on any unsecured surveillance. Ah, but their assistants here. Start by hacking them. Okay. to now. Download complete. Now scarp her or they'll kill you for sure. You've just got the small handheld unit. Got it. 16 email threads indicate the Home Office liaison is a right lush. She spends most of her time down at the Three Hawker Boys. If you want to seduce, sorry, start a relationship with her, that's as good a place as any. Forward me the coordinates. Done. Two to chat to and they're there, ready to talk. And browsing the web is so much easier. I remember when I used to have to sit down at a computer with an actual all units, keyboard I say and again, mouse all and units, type everything out. Hostile, and my favourite feature is Receive. public transport. We'll engage with necessary. the optic, you can just walk straight onto the tube. It even acts as a passport. No longer do I have to Receive. dig around and try and find my old paper passport just to travel somewhere. 
Also, I thought that Optic's marketing strategy, making it free for people, was a Control, we are unsighted of Genius. suspects. Blue Over. was really calculated when it was doing that. Control, let's put out an APW. We're getting nowhere here. Good to see you, darling. It's obvious that you're beguiled by me. Would you care to seduce me? You know, sexually? Ooh, if that's how you treat a one-liner, I shudder to think of what you do with two. Goodbye. Ooh, someone's in a sour mood. Should we loosen up with some drinks? Oh, I'm in a great mood, actually. It's just that I'm wasting my scant leisure time fending off the advances of a haggard swamp creature. Fuck you. Not even in your wildest dreams, sweetie. I'm still learning the nuances of human interaction, but my analysis indicates that you aren't her type. Obviously. Thank you, Bellend. Quit your whining. There's plenty of fish in the sea, and we've got the biggest saltwater aquarium in town. At least one of them. Someone else slept off work, and now it's your turn. Yeah, yeah. I'm on it. This is gonna sound weird, but... Did we match on invite recently? If we didn't, I'm going to have their CEO killed. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even on there. You might want to spare him. Ah, uh, careful who you fib to. Someone almost died. You're a dangerous woman. I should say. Shall we move this conversation somewhere a bit more... private? My, didn't know you could do that. <laughs> what other secrets are you hiding? I'll, uh, tell you later. <laughs> so after all that, did you acquire the biometric data? I got the scans. Let's leave it at that. Well done. What's next? It seems you'll have to maintain the ruse a bit longer. The upload is still going, and I have an incoming connection from the liaison. Put her on. Enough crap. Who the hell are you? You working for the Russians? China? Fucking America? Don't let the accent fool you. I work alone. Oh, do shut up. Upload complete. Malik is on the line. I'm sure he'll be very grateful and polite. This will have to do. We can meet at Westminster Abbey to discuss the results. And I wanted to say... You performed somewhat better than anticipated. You Brits sure don't know how to give a compliment. He's disconnected. For fuck's sake. 
investigated in commit you. Fines and arrests from the state for not having the optic would pretty much be enough. I mean, what do you mean by privacy problem? No one really talks about that anymore. Like I've marked know. the meeting location on your map. Don't hurry. Thanks, Bagley. But everybody's forgotten what it really means. Here, you've got a whole... owning basically all the data about your life. Blue can see everything that you can see. Nothing is private anymore. There are so many times when I don't want anyone to have a clue about where I am, who I'm chatting with, what I'm doing. It's not even dodgy stuff, but I just don't want anybody to blackmail with me with this in the future by hacking it. And because of Blue's contracts with the government, it isn't just Blue that can see everything I do. It's the government. The UK as a state has become a complete surveillance paradise. I think you're painting a bit of a bleak picture. It's not all that bad. No, you're completely wrong on this. I don't want everybody tracking me where I'm going around London. Well, in that case, you might be interested in some rumours I heard. Did you hear that some dead set hackers have found a way to bypass the optics connection with Blue? Are they actually making it better or usable or actually friendly for anybody? Well, word on the street is that they've been able to create an encrypted signal, which means that your world might have a chance of becoming a bit more private again, so you could go back and enjoy all the great things about Optic without that fear of surveillance. With the Optic, privacy's dead. It was a banner year for what many may think an unlikely type of crime. Namely, non-violent crimes committed by people over the age of 75. Impoverished elderly are turning to crime in the hopes of gaining free room and board. You've arrived at Westminster Abbey, final resting place of noted cousin fucker King Edward I. Is that relevant, Bagley? It is if you're his cousin. Anyway, have a seat. I'll notify Malik you've arrived. I have to walk away. I haven't slept in 76 hours. I, I can't do this. You're just tired. No, I'm afraid. I know who runs Zero Day, and I don't think I can beat her. Maybe you can, but I can. The name, Malik. All right. I'm trusting you with this. My analysis indicates that Zero Day is led by the current director of SIRS Counterterrorism, Emma Child. Legend has it she's the reason that Gorbachev survived the coup in 91, but more than that, she's my friend. She mentored me through my first field assignment years ago. Friend? Well, now she's the enemy. Wait. Wait. There's always a margin of error. If you go after Emma and I'm wrong, You'll have her and Zero Day to contend with. Confirm it's her before you do anything. I'll be careful. Be right. Or we'll both be dead. I hate to agree with a career snoop, but Malik's right. We need to tread carefully here. This is the head of SARS fucking counterterrorism we're moving against. 
If we tread too carefully, she will leave us in the dust. We'll do our due diligence, but I am not slowing down. Okay, I can live with that. So how do we find her? Let's start with the dossiers. Bagley, filter by child's direct reports and start listening in. With luck, they'll lead us right to her. Done. Oh, aren't you clever? But we can't just wait around for them to slip up and... Lab Emma Child's location. We have to make them slip up and call a meeting with her. So we do something big, something old school dead sec. Really scare the shit out of them. Emma Child is the head of SIRS Counter Terror, which coordinates operations with Albion out of the old MI6 building. So if we were to break in and leave a message that we know will get back to her. Works for me. Let's go. MI6 building, one of the most prominent intelligence organizations in the world. But now, thanks to SIRS taking over, the dark heart of every secret scheme and bloody coup in the whole of Europe. So, no huge difference, really. What the hell am I walking into here? Bagley, don't scare him. You just have to find the central server room and connect us. We'll do the rest. You've got this.
That's the case file server there. Connect badly and we'll take care of it. Got it. Quick mission update, but you have to promise not to be mad. Out with it, Bagley. Well, since you didn't promise, I can't give you the details, but suffice to say there's an absolute piss monsoon of Albion goons heading your way. Kiss your tech goodbye. I'm just glad we're on the same side. Good. Get out of there. We'll call you when we have something. That. Your plan worked. There's more buzz coming from Emma Chard's organization than a nest of randy wasps. That was fast. Well, I may have sent everyone in Chard's inner circle security footage of your little MI6 operation, just to speed things up a bit. Is that safe? No, not really. But then you're a violent insurgent who runs around in a colorful mud, punching mercenaries, stealing top secret intelligence, and driving through street cafes. Define safe. Let's make it. Touche. So, what's the plan? A small group is meeting with Emma Child in a parking garage. They've switched off the CCTV cameras, but if you connect me to the building's CTOS hub, I can switch them back on, because I'm very clever. That's our move, then. Turn to crime in hopes of gaining free room and board. Join GBB as we look into the last resort of Elder Care. Prison. focus back on the media to look at my former employer, the GBB. As we know, the broadcaster has been through a lot of changes since the... Reminder, this is the parking garage where Emma Child is meeting with her inner circle. Malik has asked that you confirm she really is in charge of Zero Day before we do anything. So try and hack the camera system to see if we can get a look at that meeting.
that environment for the longest amount of time possible. Uh, and because that meant money in their pocket. And in order to do that, a couple of things happened. One was the use of manipulative techniques around behavioral economics, things that would just keep you scrolling, or keep you listening, or keep you looking for more information. The second It's too much of a coincidence. He slips away and our case server gets hit. Richard Malik is behind this. I've got Weber Gassett on standby, Mrs. Child. Malik is dead the moment he surfaces. What do you mean, the moment he surfaces? Are you telling me we have nothing? Yes, ma'am. For lack of a better word, he's vanished. Hasn't been at work, hasn't been at home, hasn't bought anything with a card. Of course he hasn't. He's not a moron. He knows our tools. We can't rely on filament. We have to use our fucking eyes and ears. He may have left London. Perhaps he's hiding out in the country. <laughs> this is why all these excuses smell like horseshit. We do have a supporting theory, Mum. We think Malik's been in contact with DedSec. It could be they're hiding him. He's treating London like enemy territory. He's made contact with the local insurgency and got them working with him. So, guess what we're gonna do? Reallocate all resources to the DedSec file. If we shake that tree long enough, Malik's bound to fall out. Do your fucking jobs. Get out there and kill some terrorists. Call Malik. He's not answering. He had his chance. I'm moving in. Shit, you're right. Go. This might be our only chance. Emma Charge has opened a secure optic link to the Home Secretary. If you really want to clear your names for the bombings, this may be your chance to gather the evidence. Get close to the car and I can hack in. They would crucify them. And that's a great, fantastic, viral story. How do you counter that story? with the truth. The only way you can counter it is by saying, no, they didn't. And of course, no one wants to spread that story. No one wants to hear that story. Plugging you into emmachild.com. Try to drive casually. This is Director Child coding in. Kilo Alpha Kilo 711. Code and voice print confirmed. You're on a secure line to the Home Office, Director. 
Hold on, Mr. Secretary. I seem to have a communications anomaly. Probably nothing, but let's switch channels to be safe. Well, that's annoying. Stay close and I'll see if I can get them back. We are in pursuit. Governments have control We're reallocating resources to the DedSec file. Mr. Secretary, I wanted to bring this up directly because of the recent incident with your liaison to the service. Oh. Oh, God. You think that was DedSec? I thought we'd chalk that up to your problem, child. That, uh, well, Malik, was it? Yes. That's the sensitive bit, Mr. Secretary. There's new evidence that suggests Malik may be working with DedSec. For fuck's sake, Emma, this is a disaster. It's under control. It's shit. Sorry, Tom, but we have to switch channels again. One moment. Ooh, it seems this conspiracy goes all the way to the top. Or close to it, anyway. Stay nearby, we've almost got it. But in a way, there were some positive things that, like, not all information was coming from one place. And, and so you'd have kind of far-right media outlets developing and then left-wing media outlets developing to combat those and then kind of challenge the, the mainstream newspapers, TV stations, radios, and make sure people were, were questioning their... their the validity and truth of the information they were receiving. So whilst there was the digital afforded more more fake information, it also makes us suspicious and sceptical of information and makes us question the information we're getting. And I think in pre-crisis Britain it might not have seemed great at the time, but there was something positive about that, that there was a lot of distrust in the media and, uh, and, and in the different kinds of truths that are being told. Whereas now, I think you're seeing... And just how exactly is any of this under control, Emma? Because one of them is currently hacking into my car's comm. That's where those anomalies are coming from. You sound suspiciously calm about that. This isn't my first day, Tom. I'm not in the car. It's a decoy. But it does have an active beacon that's calling Albion down right on top of them as we speak. I'll have one of them in custody within an hour. That was me disconnecting this time. You had better run. shows that there is still a space to combat these false truths and disinformation that's being sold to us. I have Malik for you. I'm going underground. I can't risk direct contact anymore. Hey, you heard her. She's trying to kill you. What more proof do you need? I did hear her. She knows I'm working with you, which means she's closer than I thought. I'm sorry, but we're out of time. Goodbye. I really hate that guy. Fuck him. We know who's behind Zero Day now. We don't need him. We just have to find her. As it happens, when I was getting intimate with the MI6 server, I came across a list of SIRS safe houses scattered throughout the city. There are quite a few, though. We can narrow the field with the data we have on Child's lackeys. Cross-reference their movements against the list, see where they've been before. Brilliant. Prioritize them by likelihood bags. Let's get this bitch. Got a potential recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map.
Being too objective in there. I mean, I imagine she's not very likable as a person. She'll... <laughs> You're near an Emma Child's hideout. Poke around to see if you can find a clue. Fine, I'm on it. Today, I promise it'll be fun. <laughs> Who? Me? Terribly sorry, everyone, but one of your teammates has been kidnapped. What the fuck? Sirs has got to be behind this. That was way too clever for Albion acting on their own. The question's why? Well, they're being tortured for information about Manic, of course. I thought that was obvious when we saw that meeting where Emma Child said, and I'm paraphrasing, kidnap someone and torture them for information about Manic. Fuck. We have to find Malik. Bags, there's got to be some way to get him a signal. Sure, I've marked a location for you. In his eagerness to leave in a huff, Malik failed to encrypt his last message. It was almost too easy to trace it back to his safe house. And? Malik has a stick so far up his arse it controls his thoughts. By now he'll have noticed his error and moved, but there's no way he isn't monitoring that safe house computer. If we use it to send a message like, return our calls or we tell child everything, I'm sure the stick will compel him to listen. Let's give it a go. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Malik's safe house is somewhere around here, but it will be well hidden. Maybe have a look for a slightly off-color brick or an inconspicuous lever. <laughs> 